in this video we are going to study the property that is periodicity uh, it states that that the sequence x of n if it is periodic with n samples then the n point dft that is x of k is also periodic with n samples now let us understand and prove this property if x of n plus capital n that is the n samples then it is equal to again x of n that is the original signal for all n similarly x of k plus capital n is equal to x of k for all k now let us understand what these both terms mean this is actually the property of periodicity so let us prove this property we use the basic definition and formula of dft so by definition x of k plus capital n is equal to summation n is equal to 0 n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi n now see the term k plus n so the term here becomes k plus n upon capital n now let us expand this term it becomes summation n is equal to 0 n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi n k by capital n into e raised to minus j 2 pi n into capital N divided by N. Now we see that the capital N gets cancelled. We also know that e raised to minus j 2 pi N is equal to 1. Now, so this term becomes 1. Finally, we achieve summation N is equal to 0 to N minus 1 x of N e raised to minus j 2 pi N k upon N. Now we can see that this is exactly the original formula. So we finally get x of k. By this the periodicity property is proved. We now move on to the next property. The next property is circular time shift property. Let us see that. The circular time shift property states that if x of n is shifted by the m samples then the dft of x of n becomes x of k multiplied by the term e raised to minus j 2 pi k m by n. We should consider the factor m that is majorly responsible for dft of x of n minus m. So let us prove this. For proving we will follow the basic definition of dft. So the dft of x of n minus m is equal to summation n is equal to 0 n minus 1 x of n minus m e raised to minus j 2 pi k n by capital N. Now we will expand this term but before expanding we will see that we will substitute n minus m as p. So n is equal to n plus p. We are going to substitute these terms in the next term. So it becomes summation n is equal to 0 n minus 1 x of p e raised to minus j 2 pi k into p by capital N again into e raised to minus j 2 pi k m upon capital N. Now we should see that as n is equal to m plus p we have expanded the exponential term as e raised to minus j 2 pi k by n and e raised to minus j 2 pi k m by n. So now we will club this term excluding this term. So we finally get x of k that is the dft of x of n multiplied by the term e raised to minus j 2 pi k m by capital N. So thus we prove the circular time shift property.